What's up guys, Lance McCorder here, and I wanted to do a quick video on stabilizing your kayak. You know, um, a lot of people are putting more and more stuff on their kayaks right now. My 22 Jackson NAR is absolutely loaded with electronics, forward-facing sonar, power poles, motors, every, cameras, you know, everything. So um, it's super important to really be thoughtful when you're planning out your boat and doing your initial design so that you don't get yourself in trouble by getting off center when you're out there in the water. So let's check it out. First things first, batteries. Where do you put them? How many do you have? How many do you need? You know, that all depends on what kind of fishing you do um, and how you've chosen to outfit your boat. But one thing that you need to think of when you're loading all these batteries in, into, your, uh, into your boat is weight distribution. You know, a lot of people don't think about that and just throw batteries wherever. Um, it's really important to think of how that boat sits, how it drafts, how it runs with all your normal fishing gear in it uh, before you start adding, adding on uh, batteries. You know, I use Dakota lithium batteries, which are super light, you know, uh, small as they can be for the power that they're putting out, but it still takes up a lot of space. So um, I chose to lay out this, uh, it's a 24 volt motor, so I have two batteries wired in series. So I chose to do uh, kind of a pigtail that runs between the front and the back. And I do one of those 60s on either end of the boat. So I've got one Dakota Lithium DL Plus 60 up here. I've got one in the back. So I'm already trying to di distribute that weight evenly um, to get by myself really a little more weight in the front. Um, I also keep my batteries up in front of that one or two Dakota uh, 18 amp hour uh, batteries wired in parallel to give me 36 amp hours. So. Uh, that runs all my electronics, all my lights, my cameras, everything like that. So that goes up in front. It kind of settled that a little more to also, you know, offset the motors and the power poles and the, the tackle and everything that's in back. So uh, kind of planning as I go, you know, all the wiring that runs back and forth between, you know, all the wiring for the active target system, for the graphs, for everything is all evenly ran on both sides of the boat. Um, I'm using this new Yak Gadget um, underseat storage system that they built for actually this NAR was the first was the one they used to design it um, and I found that I really like it for a lot of my heavy 3700 boxes um, you know my terminal tackle everything like that goes in the slots underneath the seat it can hold four of them so it really moves a lot of that weight from the back to the front distributed uh, in the back um, I keep my my uh, little storage box it has you know some tools and things like that right dead center behind the seat um, my catch board is right here it allows me to lean back and grab it without you know having to lean or without having to turn or without having to climb up front and pull it out of something it's really just right in a good hands reach um, and then right behind that is my yak gadget the heavy duty box um, and i found that since i put their under seat storage in there i really don't have to turn around and lean and get into this thing that much that often i have like my big crankbait you know like a big bass mafia crankbait box uh, you know, a couple other of, uh, of 3700s, but kind of the stuff that I don't really use that much. Dobbins rods, I usually take eight. Um, we can stage, stage, you know, a comeback bait or something on the outside one. But I mean, this, this Yak Gadget crate just really keeps everything nice, neat, tied up in the center, uh, kind of more towards the inside of the boat. So I really don't hang them up that much. Uh, in the back, already went over the batteries. Um, you know, big one in the front, big one in the back. It balances that weight. Uh, dual power poles. This is a Yak Gadget mount that uh, allows me to mount, you know, my Newport NK180 motor and also dual power poles on either side. Um, this is a really cool setup. Uh, that's about it, man. Um, stability is important. Think about it before you build your boat. Take the time to really lay out a good, uh, a good plan for how you want your boat to lay out. Uh, get the basics first. Get where your tackle's going. Get where you're, you know, take it out and pedal it a bunch of times and then decide you know, on how you want your motor or where you want your batteries, and really put some thought into it. I think you'll enjoy your fishing a lot more. So uh, hit like, hit subscribe, um, make sure and check out NK, the NK180 on uh, Newport Vessels website, and uh, yeah, man, we'll see you out on the water.